Hello friends, this is Dr. Vishal doing postgraduate in orthopedics and today in our series we will be discussing about the radiological features of osteoarthritis knee joint. It is a commonly kept exam question in the viva question in the final year clinical exam cases. So we are going to see that today. So before going to the radiological features, we have to discuss about the normal anatomy of the joint. So this is the tibia and this is the upper end of tibia. Normally, this upper end of tibia will articulate with the distal femur to form the knee joint. So the surface which is articulating with one another is called as the articular surface. So this is the articular surface and the cartilage over the articular surface is the articular cartilage which is made up of hyaline tissues. The bone which is present below the cartilage is called as the subchondral bone which is sub means below. So these are the anatomical nerve terms we should know before going to the features. So let's discuss the pathogenesis of osteoarthritis knee joint. So when you stand erect, your body weight passes into the medial joint, medial knee joint. So this is the knee joint and this is the medial surface and this is the lateral surface. When you stand, your major part of the body weight passes through this surface, the medial surface. So what happens is, normally when you weight bear, the articular surface will get merged together and this prevents the rubbing of articular surface by the articular cartilage. So as the aging process occurs, the physiological chemical composition of the articular cartilage gets changed due to the cyclical loading of the articular cartilage. By cyclical loading means repeated standing, repeated walking and repeated doing heavy exercises. So as the process progresses, the articular cartilage will get eroded. So this is the thickness of particular cartilage. As this progresses, the size will decrease eventually. So what happens is the size decreases and this paves way for the destruction of subcontral bone. This part is designed to bear the weight, not this part. So once the bone is eroded, this bone is exposed to the weight bearing area. So due to the increased blood supply in the subchondral bone, this has a tendency to form new bones. So once the cartilage is destroyed, the subchondral bone is exposed to the weight bearing area. Due to the increased vascular supply, there will be new bone formation occurring in the subchondral level. So what happens is this tracks way to the joint surface where you have the attachment of capsules. So this capsule will have pulling nature. So what happens is when new bone is formed, this will form away from the knee joint and this new bone is called as an osteophyte. So when the articular surface is gradually eroded, the synovial fluid which is present in the knee joint will escape through the articular surface into the subcontral bone and this pocket 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 fluids in the subchondral bone are called as subchondral cyst. So this is the pathogenesis. Now let's go to the radiological features. So this is a normal knee joint where the bones are articulating with one another and the cartilage is called as an articular cartilage. So first radiological feature is the loss of joint space. We can see in the left the joint space is equal on both sides while in this side there is more of the reduction of the joint space in the medial side. As I told, the weight bearing axis passes through the medial side. So, medial side will have more destruction of space compared to the lateral side. The second feature is the osteophyte formation. So, that there will be medial lipping of osteophytes which is the new bond formation. And third is the sclerosis which is thickening or whitening or polishing of the bone. We can see the articular surface and just beneath the articular surface there is the thickening and white bone which is called a sclerosis and next one a lytic lesion in the bone which is enclosed within a pocket fluid cavity that is called as a cyst. So how to remember the radiological features? Just remember the mnemonic loss. L for loss of joint space or osteophyte formation as subchondral cyst and subchondral sclerosis. So Lawrence and Kelgren grading system is used for the severity of the osteoarthritis of knee joint. So grade 0 is no abnormality and grade 1 is narrowing, grade 2 is osteophytes, 
grade 3 is cyst subchondral cyst and grade 4 is the subchondral sclerosis. So these are the four terms which you should, you should answer in the finder exam questions. Thank you.